table, there's an offload there. Lamb out the back. Now for Russell. First opportunity. But they got a penalty anyway. A Pappy goes to the right side. Lamb at the short pass is a beauty. Rhys Martin, the Leeds Rhino, scores the try. Have a look at the reaction of the Cobbles. First try. Relentless pressure from PNG. A Pappy has dived. He's gone low and has lost the ball. At oh, Lee. that's so close. Justin Olive is very much a leader in this Papua New Guinea side. Lamb's kick, fielded by Kola. And showing us his speed, Tolu Kola. Beautiful footwork, then offloads, long ball pass. It's into the arms of Will Pedersini. Well, you see one of the young stars on show at the World Cup. Tolu Kola, one year in the NRL. On the test stage, he does that, and he brings the crowd to their feet. Yeah, Bossy, that try is all about Kola, but it's built off the back of the strong, aggressive defense from the Tongan forward pack. And now across the left, and Lamb and Johnston there again. Olam positions Russell. That is clinical from Papua New Guinea. Can we just go back, oh, please? No. Thank you. I have seen all the available angles I need, and I have now made my decision. Lola here with a ball, little run. Tui Lola here through the centre. The support was there with Fodawaka. He's found the same. He's giddy, Three. Lola here. What about that from Lola here? Amazing stuff oh. from the Tongan halfback. Beautiful play, beautiful deception. Kaloa Matogi's ball inside. Well, he's a surgeon. He's cut him open. Behind than six, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sully's with it. There's Torren jerseys everywhere. And it's an open passage. The 18-year-old scores. Plenty of intent, lots of strong hard running and a little shift. And the puppy, what a, what a runner he is, the hooker. The number oh. nine back to Lamb. Edwin. Should we call him Sir Edwin? Wow! That is amazing! He might be Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea if he can do that all through the World Cup. What Edwin a Papua. James said what a good set. A good set has turned into a superb set. What about that to start the second half? Last play it is. Martin and a puppy again. What a ball. He's done it again. Oh, into the corner. He's been stopped, I reckon. That's play on. And if we can go back there, this is the angle, slow. Keep it going, pause there. Thank you, I've seen all the available angles I need. No try, James. Wow. On the short side, Fafita. Fafita, destructive. Destructive, certainly. That was the first word that came into the mind of James Graham. And I've now made my decision. Well, in Australia, we call it fib. Ball's out of the back of the scrum. Tonga offside by about eight metres. Russell to finish it off. They've scored. Papua New Guinea. Russell gets his try. Johnston's last pass. Luke throws Dubby. Goes left. 12 metres out. Kafusi's knocked the ball down. Tokiaho then. They've made an absolute mess of this, the Toggins. They scramble an egg on Totally Wicked Stadium there. And then they get out of it with Kola and kept it alive for Katoa. It was Penasini with a pass. Then over his head, Tokiaho's got the ball. He's kicked to the end goal. And they have pulled out a try out of I think you know where. I don't know what to make of that. 73. Well, you look at that, what, what was a amazing game guys look called kumul's heads up to the coach and the players you guys really had uh, the, your heads up you played for the country you guys did us proud unfortunately the video ref was blind or on drugs and couldn't see that try and put the corner and he saw it 10 times i'm sure everyone in papua new guinea saw that there was a try but you know uh it went our way but put our heads up high tongans they played good they've got a uh, classy They've got a classy team there. Um, I think they need to really uh, polish up on the on, on the halves. 
and the kicking game but apart from that um, they need to really improve if they want to take on the tier one companies um, I think they're a different side from what they did last World Cup they were had a really great side and also I know the Tongans they play good when there's a home crowd and there's a big uh, community behind them so uh, for the PNG boys I mean I'll play good I mean you see we, we came back we fired back we have like lightning people like Pape and Lachlan Lamb that always backs up and scores off off the back of you know backing up and I think to win I keep Kumuls is a progressive team so they'll learn the lesson from this game and I will easily make it I uh, will beat uh, the other two teams and make it to the uh, quarterfinals and I, I believe that if the Kumuls can play that kind of footy and improve um, I know that we're gonna um, will be a force to reckon with the super powerhouses are like uh, the Kiwis and uh, the Australians I think if we can control them in defense and play the kind of football we played the guys didn't do silly mistakes they completed the sets um, the thing that's gonna win for the Kumos is ball possession and have some spark flair in there you know so you know good game for the Kumos I was just pissed off that two tries was disallowed I'm sure that every Papua New Guineans but well down to uh, Tonga and good luck to them in the World Cup and uh, I don't want to sound biased and I told all the PNG but you know good job to the Tongans uh, but Kumos, man, we proved the world wrong. They said that the Tongans were the team to beat, and we 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 beat them. But uh, just silly errors that cost us the game. But uh, apart from that, the boys did really well, and um, I can't wait till the next uh, till we get to the quarterfinals. So um, well done to St uh, Coach Stanley Tappen and Flanagan over there giving all the advice and Wilshire and all the team in uh, in England. You've done us proud and. Uh, Alex Johnson and other guys, man, you can head, hold your head up, man. You guys really proved us well, and the whole country is, you know, cheering for you guys. So keep it up, Kumuls. Go the Kumuls.